Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Lloyd Ross here. After such a long, long time of, let's say, a vacation, ako yung nagbabalik muli. Today, I'm going to be doing a makeup look, and that is the Dolly Mask from Money Heist. Since naisipo na rin na kakarelease lang to ang volume 2 ng season 5, why not give it a shot? Just to kind of give you a glimpse of what I'm actually going to be doing, this is actually what I've thought of doing ever since then, no January pa lang, kung kailan ako nag-start na mag-YouTube and everything. I wasn't really planning out on sticking onto the mainstream makeup, such as intense eyeshadow looks, lips. I was planning on doing that, but I was hoping to also extend that platform or my art style. Wow. So I hope you're getting my point. And update ko nga pala kayo sa intended video ko na cosplay for Mikey Manjiro. The final look that I came up with was not really what I intended to do, or I'm just really amateur at cosplaying. Because one, hindi ako nakawig. Two, hello, as in yung contact lenses ko. Number three, it's my first time. Although I did create a post saying that I will not be doing any cosplays anymore, but I revoke that because I'm also planning to do a lot of makeup looks before this year, 2021, ends. And in hopes for 2022, sana dun ko na ma-fulfill yung mga New Year's resolution kami kami ko nang inisip ko nung 2020 pa. And then also, my blonde era was over. I just entered the white era, o oh, diba? Isipan ko na lang din mag-color red next week. And that's just gonna open up more ideas for cosplay. Yeah, I'm going to do cosplay again. So, wish me luck. I just want to do two quick shoutouts for the day. Shout out to the deoxygenated person. I'm just gonna use his alias because that's the account that he's using for his drawings. But he also actually posted that he does not want to be recognized with his full legal name. I don't know why, but I respect that. Please check out his account. He has amazing drawings that I think you guys will love as an artist. He has really amazing artworks that are worth stealing for. <laughs> then my second Icy Pate, been there since day one and salamat pre. Solid ka talaga. So nonetheless, magnako no tayo ng pera. First step before doing a makeup look is the skin prep, so I'm gonna do the WMP, which is wash, moisture, and prime. I'm just going to wash my face and I'll be right back. At ayun na nga, nagbabalik na ako sa pagtatanggal ko ng concealer and ng kilay ko. Now I just want to double cleanse by using a micellar water. This is the Nivea. Kung sinabi ko na moisture ang sunod ko, isusunod ko na agad ang brow blocking. Because I feel like when I already put my moisturizer on and the primer, I don't think that the glue is still gonna stick the best. And then for moisture, I'm just going to use this rose water soothing gel from Lux Organics. Because that way, kapag inuna ko muna yung brow blocking and then moisture, I can get rid of the oiliness. Once I have left the moisturizer on my face for about a few seconds or one minute, I'm just going to prime my face. And quick opinion, feel ko yung nasa tube dito at yung nasa sachet, they smell different. They are not the same formulation. This has a moisturizing, cooling effect, parang ganon, while the one on the sachet does not. Quick effects, please do something about that. I most of the time forgot to moisturize my lips, and I just end up with a pretty good face, but with crusty ass lips, and that does not look good. So use a lip balm, a lip oil, Vaseline, whatever, just don't leave that lips of yours chapin. And it's time for concealing, kasi hindi ko naman matatanggap na punong puno ng mga tae tae mukha ko, di ba? Magana ako tayo ng pera, tas ang daming tae sa mukha ko. Hindi ko tanggap yun. No. And for that, I'm just going to use this really flat brush. I just dipped it into some full coverage concealer by Sass Lady. And I'm just going to go over my blemishes and dark spots to conceal those. And then just blending it in with my fingers because I don't want to go too broad with that. While I'm at it, I'm just going to conceal my eyebrows too. As you've noticed, I did not put any concealer on my neck. I have not blended it down. And you'll see why is that in a bit. And then I know it's not a really good match to my skin tone, but I really like the formulation. It's very thick, it's very consistent, and I think I'm just going to order another one. I also went ahead and set the concealer on my eyebrows using this Put Air setting powder at the shade of Heat. 
I think this is heat or desert. So this is, I think, my basic all complete and I'm just going to move on to the next step. Here I am using the white soft eyeliner by me now to outline. If you ever find yourself having trouble outlining your makeup look, just use any editing app to stencil your reference onto your face so that way you can have a more precise and reference. And it turns out I had to bring the mask line a, bit, a little bit further onwards onto my cheeks so it will kind of have the, that hollow effect later on. The mustache was fairly easy, I just have to follow a horizontal but kind of a downward stroking slope and then magically pointing it upwards and it, it appears as an illusion to the eye bags. It just overlays on top of that. And the holy shit, is it, this is actually coming together. Like I can definitely see the, the crease right here of my entire lid spaces is the dolly mask's eyes. I am just going to move on to the next step which is the foundation. Here I'm trying to be not afraid to go over the lines because later on I'm just going to then again fill it up again with the black lines such as this mustache over here and here the outline of the dolly mask as well as the contour. So basically I'm just going from lightest to darkest Shades. And then I set my foundation using the same loose powder I used earlier. And then moving on to my favorite step of my makeup routine, which is the contouring. Here I'm toggling between a large angled contour brush and an eyeshadow blending brush according to where I would place the powder, but I wasn't happy with the outcome, so... I'm going to move on now with the contour stick and hope for the better. Here I intended to... I add dimension on the bags of the dolly mask. It's been four hours and I'm still working on it, but... I'm going to finish this. Cause you know what? I'm the resistance, bitch. And I'm gonna start concealing my lips now. This isn't really a necessary part, but I felt like I had to do it. I'm not liking this right now. But anyways, trust the process. Now I am going to accomplish this look by using the Athena painting palette. I'm just going to dip it into this black and then start to fill this rounded part on my face that I created as an outline earlier. I've also went ahead to overline into my hairline. That way it doesn't have that weird cast of skin on my scalp. I should have been trusting myself the entire process. And now I think you know why I did not put any products on my neck. And then with the outline and covering my neck with black, I'm going to move on with my brows. The silhouette rather looks bushy than on fleek and sharp. And would you look at that? Wow. It's pretty decent. So I'm just gonna move on to my mustache. This is probably gonna be difficult. As I have observed, the dolly mask's nose bridge is rather wide, and therefore the nostrils are also widened and it's opened up bigger. And in order to achieve an illusion of having bigger nostrils, you only need to put black products on the edges of your nostrils. The mustache was fairly easy. I think it was just basic line art. But it turns out it was actually pretty easy. And now for the last part, which is the eyes. Now I think that is really going to be the challenge in this makeup. Look. For that, I'm just going to be using this white face paint and then immediately going to set it with white powder or any baby powder, just as long as it's white. Since the face paint I used is oil-based, the tendency of that is it's going to crease onto my eyelids. This is one eye completed, but I think it's still missing that one detail which is the outline at katatapos ko lang ng isang ito at dahil dito nagkaroon talaga ako na isa pang dahilan kung bakit matatawag kong talentado si John Lloyd Rosales talaga <clears throat> so proud of myself so kukunin ko lang tong black ulit to give the dolly mask its iris but I shouldn't have had layered because it just turned into gray and I'm done so confirmed Napaka-talentado ko talaga nila lang. But I think this is just going to need a few more finishing touches. So I'll be back at... Ready na tayong magnakaw.
So yeah, and that concludes my makeup for the Dolly Mask on Money Heist. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Give a comment or suggestion on how I can make this makeup look even better. And because I will be posting another video very very soon, make sure to keep an eye on that. Please subscribe down below because sinisipak na talaga ako eh. Like end of the year. Yung New Year's resolution ko talaga magsipag na. Tapos natupad ko lang sa December. And mag-comment ka kung sino yung bias mong magnanakaw. Feel health ba? Yung mga Marcos ba? Charot.